Nation, broken roads, broken system shows you major mistakes in roads reports grading Cleveland streets. It's now raising questions about a stretch of road in Cleveland riddled with painful potholes. New for you this morning, the E-Team's investigator Jonathan Walsh shows us problems that go beyond potholes. You can barely, you know, drive two miles per hour in Harvard without going into a ditch. Kimberly right Brown now, calls herself a social so. activist who addresses quality of life issues in Cleveland. She called the quality of Harvard Avenue into question near JFK High School. Because it's so terrible that right now Harvard needs to be shut down. We talked with her on Sunday and contacted the city by Monday afternoon. <laughs> Crews started filling holes. The city called the potholes an emergency and filled them right away. But the question remains is a recent report costing Cleveland 600 grand actually helping the city keep track of dangerous roads? There are a few lists that tell us which streets were graded in the $600,000 study. And for the life of us, we can't figure out if this stretch of Harvard was even in here. The study says there's an intersection of Harvard and East 191st Street. East 191st? Where is that? It doesn't exist. And now we're in Warrensville Heights. The city does tell us that Harvard is scheduled for resurfacing this year. That can't come soon enough for people like Kimberly, who says her car and bank account have suffered. So right now we'll have to get that repaired, and the cost for that is $532, $532. So of course, you know, I am not a happy camper. I'm five on your side, investigator Jonathan Walsh for the E team. The city tells us crews working third shift will repair the emergency potholes while workers on first and second shifts stay on track with Cleveland's systematic approach. It's a system News 5 has exposed for problems during our broken roads, broken system investigation.